Well, happy Halloween, and here's a nice cheese cloth ghost for your party or your decorations when you open for trick-or-treaters. So we make it with just cheesecloth and glue. It's very simple. Cheesecloth is a very loosely woven fabric that's kind of stretchy and open. And you buy it in the grocery store, usually on the baking aisle. And you get a package and you want to cut it into about a 16 inch square for a ghost the size of the one I showed you. So we're going to start off by getting the head together. And so I've just wadded up a paper towel and I'm going to kind of place it in the middle of the cheesecloth and kind of figure out how I want my ghost to hang. And I'm going to draw it together and then we're going to tie it with a piece of string or thread. And that holds the neck in place because the next step's pretty gooey and it's going to want to come apart if you don't at least tie this. So the mixture is about half glue and half water and you don't need much for a little bit of that cheesecloth but you're going to want to make several because they don't take much time. So I'm just going to put some glue and water together and stir it. And the other thing you want to do ahead of time is to prepare something for the ghost to dry on because it does take a little bit of time for the glue to dry. So I've used a soda bottle from the recycle bin and I put a little plastic over it. You could use a milk carton or um, it's lots of fun actually to use um, these and just lay them flat on a piece of wax paper to dry and that's just fine too. So I'm now going to do the gluey messy thing and I'm going to dip it in to that mixture and I'm going to coat it completely and let it soak it up and basically I'm just going to saturate the whole thing and then we take it and unfold it again and just drape it over this soda bottle. Oh, it feels so good to have glue on my hands. Now, you are either probably the kind of person who loves to have gluey, messy hands, or you aren't. So, you know who you are. So, if you like to have messy hands, this is the project for you. And kids are kind of the same way. They either really love to get their hands messy, or they just don't like it. So anyway, you're going to fuss with this and get it the way you want it. And you can actually use the plastic wrap to help form it a little bit. And once you get it the way you want it, you want to let it just sit there and dry. And I also happen to have a little bit of this nice diamond dust glitter. So I like to sprinkle a little of that on. If you have it, it's fun. So you let that dry for a couple of days. And then when it's nice and stiff, you take it off the soda bottle, and I just used a felt tip to give him a mouth and a spooky eye, like he's screaming or howling. And if you want to hang him, you just take a little piece of thread and run it through the head, and you can dangle him. Or you can prop him onto things and just have a great little spooky Halloween decoration. So, hope you have fun with that, and we'll see you at Halloween.